Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele with two easy roasted peanut recipes for you all that you are gonna love. I love making my own and I know you will too. So first I pick out the bad ones and then I go ahead and make some hot water. Well this is already hot. I pour it into my pot. To that I'll add some salt and you want your water to be nice and salty before adding in your peanuts. Stir and bring it back to a boil. As soon as it boils it is ready. Strain out the water and spread it on a paper towel lined tray to dry beautifully. In Ghana, they'll usually dry this in the sun. I'm just going to allow the paper towel to absorb the excess water. Now to our second method. In a bowl, add some salt. To that, we're going to go ahead and add some water. Stir to dissolve as much as possible and then pour in your peanuts. Stir everything together until each peanut is well coated with the salt. Allow it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and spread it into our parchment paper lined tray, oven or baking tray and then transfer it into our oven. That is it. And because my oven is a smaller space and I don't want the peanuts to burn, I will be roasting this at 320 degrees Fahrenheit, stirring periodically until it is ready. Now back to the first method, it is halfway dried. So I've transferred it into my halogen oven spread it out beautifully and i'll cover it up and roast it at 275 degrees fahrenheit until it is golden brown stirring periodically i'm here to check on the one in the oven and as you can see it is beginning to turn brown i'll give it a shake and put it back in the oven please keep an eye on this because it'll burn and your hard work will be wasted now I'm checking on the one in the halogen oven. It is looking good. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick stir so that it'll roast evenly and beautifully. Back to the one in the oven. It looks good. As you can see, it is ready, nice and golden brown. So I'm going to go ahead and set it aside to cool completely. And I'll check on the one in the halogen oven as well. It is also ready. So I'm just going to leave it to cool. Okay, just look at that. Beautiful. And here is the oven roasted one as well. It is also done. I'm just going to break one so you will see how nice and crunchy it is. You see, absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the skin off. And usually once they're done taking off the skin, they'll throw it in the wind so that the wind will take the skin away. Some people blow on it, but please do not do that. Put it through a strainer or a basket. I have a couple of things in my house that I'm going to try using for you to try as well. The first one is my steaming basket from the rice cooker. You just put it in there, shake, 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 and the skin will come right out. I also have this strainer with smaller holes that works just as well. And finally, my favorite one to use is this big, big strainer. When I make a big batch, I put everything in there, shake, shake, shake. And as you can see, the skin comes right out of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and store this in airtight jars or containers. And it should last you for as long as you enjoy your peanuts or groundnuts. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 
video and are inspired to try the recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke onamini uchemi suite mahabotu. Bye y'all.